things were quickly escalating, both in the house and in my investigations. Simultaneously, my following on social media was growing as well. It seemed a lot of people were just as interested in what I was finding and what was going on as I was. To essentially the pleading of many of them, I went to see Cindy, the friend of my grandmother who, according to the people at the museum, would have information for me. Okay, I am here at Cindy's house. Going to go in now and uh, meet her and do a little interview. She said she didn't want to be directly on camera, so I'll hold it away from her face. Okay, Cindy, so how did you know my grandmother and great-grandfather? They've lived next door to me for over 20 years. Okay, so were you and her close? Eventually, a few little close. A uh, little bit of... Uh, Babysit for each other when we got older, things like that. And uh, what about my great grandfather, Leopold? Well, first, he didn't like being called Leopold. He was Leo. Do you remember anything about his work with the church? You know, I scored your grandmother that I would uh, stuff. I think maybe she'd be okay with you telling me about her. What I do know about blue things, like in our thousands, you know, it's not as good as Actually, it's kind of right in line with the kind of stuff I've been doing. Uh, this is all really great information you're giving me. Um, but I also want to ask, do you know anything, do you have anything strange about the house? Oh, it's haunted. Um, okay. What kind of experiences did you have there? Hmm. Let's see. A lot of shadows, voices, things moving on their own. They have this doll. They called it a frogette. And it would show up everywhere. Did this ever say anything about all that kind of stuff? Your grandmother thought a lot of it had to do with the stuff in the trunk. But your great grandmother always said not to worry. That nothing there meant us any harm. Did you ever experience anything in the backyard? Some things were just too crazy to say out loud. I'm sorry? Big butterflies back there, huh? I guess so. I'm kind of tired. Do you think we could wrap this up? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I got some pretty interesting tidbits there. Um, you know, I'll go through it a little bit more and, you know, make a little bit of an accounting of the stuff that I found out. But, you know, my biggest takeaway, Leo, you know, my great-grandfather did go by Leo. She talked about the doll <laughs> frogette, and, you know, if you've seen these videos, you know I've already had to deal with that, so... Um, I don't know. I've got a couple ideas of things that I might start facing up this week. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so a quick update on where this is going. Um, you know, some of you probably know that I, I started this just as a document of my family, me and my daughters moving into my, I call it my ancestral home, but it's not like a mansion or anything, so that seems weird. But it's a house that's been in my family for like 100 years, the property at least. Um, you know, it started to get a little strange, basically right away, I started finding things out about my family, um, particularly that my great-grandfather apparently wrote the movie Hexen, uh, you know, I'm a big horror guy, I'm a writer, so that was kind of a big deal to me, it seemed like he would gotten screwed out of any credit about it, but, you know, it was still pretty cool. Um, but then, you know, scary stuff happening in the house, weird stuff, um, digging more into my, my great-grandfather and finding some of the stuff, you know, you guys have seen it, stuff about exorcisms, about haunted houses, about, it sounds like skinwalkers, witches, all kinds of crazy shit. And, you know, if I was just reading about that stuff on its own, that'd be kind of cool, it'd be like, oh, you know, my old stories about my family, Bullshit, whatever. Cool stuff. And then, you know, even the, the, the stuff in the house, scary, like, whatever, haunted -y stuff you want to call it. By itself, it's a little spooky. Not not a huge, crazy deal. Um, but the two together, just, I don't know, it, like, it, it, it feels like there's some kind of connection there. Like, more than just a figurative, you know, through 
me to my grandfather or my great grandfather or something. I, I just, it feels like, I don't know. I just, I'm going to keep looking into this. I'm going to see what more I can find out. Um, I'm going to you know, keep an eye on things at the house. But I just, I don't know. I don't want to drone on here. I'm getting to two minutes, but. I don't know. Things seem a little weird. I, I, I feel something weird, so. We'll see what happens. Driving out here. Uh, this is the woods, the forest around my town. Um, I got some information from somebody. I don't know how accurate it is. I'm going to find out. He said that my grandfather, my great grandfather, sorry, was buried in a church that's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere that it was his church that he built it and that that is where he worshipped and it's just this little weird church out here so we'll see if it's true we'll see what I find where my great grandfather was buried this was his church here we go okay so this is the place um it's a little bit strange because it does seem kind of upkept, even though it is old and hasn't seen a service in at least like 30 years, is what I've been told. It's raining right now, so I don't know. It's kind of like right on the edge of the woods, too. All boarded up back here. This is kind of interesting. This was the church he built. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's like an ancient looking old bell up in that tower, and this is like a nowhere area. I don't know. It's just like in the middle of nowhere. Um, weirdly upkept for an abandoned place. Yeah, these doors were painted recently. Definitely. This is the one window with a little gap. I don't know if we can see anything in there. I don't know. This is the graveyard. Um, there's a no trespassing sign. And I hate to be a bitch, but I've got two daughters, so I can't risk getting into any trouble at all. So I'm just gonna look from here. It doesn't look like there's that many plots. The ones furthest away look pretty old. Let's see, no trespassing, private property. <sighs> Zoom in a little bit, maybe, I don't know. I doubt we'll be able to see anything. So you can see nothing too crazy. Um, I wasn't able to really get a good look at the graves. Um, I couldn't get on the other side of the fence because it was just too thick. The, 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 the foliage, the forest over there, I didn't really want to go through all that trouble. I might do it again, I don't know. Um, the church was small, old church, um, but weirdly upkept. I don't know, nothing too crazy. Um, but, you know, just another little piece of this, so we'll see what else I can find. Okay, so this is where I place down um, my great-grandfather's journals and some of the letters that I had that he had written. Um, I was just looking through them yesterday. You know, I have new context now. I was thinking maybe I could find something else out, put them down here, went to bed been busy most of the day, came back and looked again, and there are just these keys. I have never seen these before. These were not here before last night. I did not put them here. I have no idea where they came from, so. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Hello? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody fucking here? What the fuck? Okay, so I just came out and saw this chair freaking slide by itself away from the table, and when I look at what was out on the table, what I definitely did not put out here, it is my great-grandfather's journal, his old letters, those keys I found, and a photo album that I had not even known was here. This is, looks like an old, really old uh, family photo album, 
And then this is a picture of my grandmother. Um, my great-grandfather's daughter. So I'm fucking freaking out right now. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have gone to that graveyard. I don't fucking know. Okay, something I did not notice last night. Put the books and everything over there. But right over here... Yeah, that's uh, Froggette. Hadn't seen her for days. Like I said before, you know, sometimes my daughter's just playing with her, um, or she's just sitting somewhere, and then she's gone. And then, you know, I don't know, I see her again days later. And now she's right here. Right next to where this all went down. Yeah, okay, I'm just up here uh, giving my daughter a bath. You know, regular dad stuff. Bathroom is basically right over by where all this stuff happens. A um, little bit of development. The keys are gone. Um, I did not move them. These have just been sitting here. The letters, journal, photo album. Um, yeah, the keys are just gone. And forget the doll. Did not move it, did not touch it, have not seen my daughter playing with it. But it's gone, so... Let's see what happens next. I'm getting a lot of people asking me a lot of different questions. So there's a couple things that I, I want to throw out there that maybe I haven't mentioned yet. Um, you know, about my family, I haven't really talked too much about my mother and my grandmother, that situation. I mentioned very early on that I, I hadn't seen my, my grandmother since I was like five years old. Um, something happened. I, I was five, so I don't know what it was. My mother and my grandmother, um, a little bit before that, actually, they, they there was some kind of rift in the world. I know that we stopped seeing her as much. And then when I was, like, five years old, contact cut off completely. We moved away. Um, we didn't live in this house at the time. We lived within an hour from here. Um, and we moved much further away. Uh, I never saw her again. Um, you know, my, my mother passed away seven, eight years ago now, so I really can't ask her about it. I don't know what caused them to stop talking. I, I know, like, I, I don't remember my grandma being, like, toxic, or but, you know, I was five, I don't know. Um, they Whatever happened, they, they, yeah, they just cut off all contact. I know that my aunt, who was older than my mom, she stayed in contact with her a little bit longer. But eventually kind of moved out closer to where we were in a very similar situation. Um, she also, unfortunately, um, about three years ago passed away. Uh, so I, I do have a couple of cousins that I'm, I'm kind of close with, you know, I'm friendly with them. If we were to have some kind of get together for Thanksgiving or Christmas, we'll move them. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the family had that kind of rift. I did ask Cindy about it um, before we really sat down for the official interview. She didn't know. Um, so yeah, I really don't have any idea down there. Um, and everything that is going on now, it, it certainly seems like just another element of all this. Uh, something for me to chase down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll give my cousins a call, see what I can find out from them. See maybe if they know anywhere else to look. Um, but yeah, that's basically it about my man. Next video I'm uploading is going to be about my great-grandfather's trunk. Okay, I've also been asked about my great-grandfather's trunk. Um, I mentioned, or it came up in the interview with Cindy, that um, my grandmother felt that a lot of the things that went on in the house had to do with the trunk that her father, my great-grandfather, had. Uh, she, she, you know, we talked a little bit about it before and after the videoed interview. Um, you know, just it was an old trunk that my great-grandfather had. Um, that's where he kept his documents, books, other items. She said that she used, that he used uh, in his work with the church and with the Seminole and, you know, with the, the haunted houses and, and all that stuff. Um, he also, he talked about in his letters to my great-grandmother from the 1920s when he was working on writing Haxon. Uh, his grandfather's trunk. Uh, you know, that's where he said he got a lot of the information that he gave them to make the movie. Uh, 
I'm assuming it's the same one. Um, I know there were little notes about things in um, his journal from later. I still haven't found any more of his journals, but I, I really believe that he did have more. Um, so I'm going to keep looking for that. Uh, and this trunk, I have not found it anywhere on the property. I've been looking. Um, I'm going to keep looking. I don't know if there's another one. You know, if I find anything out, I'll give you guys an update. So. Okay, so... Um... You know, I haven't really come into my grandmother's room much. I've kind of left it mostly how it was when we got here. It's just kind of a weird feeling, you know, it, it still kind of doesn't fully feel like my house. But I was in here today for the first time really kind of digging in to see, you know, anything we can use, anything I can sell, you know, anything that just doesn't need to be here. And when I go into the very first drawer, this is what I found. Now, some of you might know what this is. This is sage. And some of you also might know what that is generally used for. Warding off uh, dark spirits or dark energies. I'm guessing this incense is something similar. I don't know. Oh, my God. I made this bowl with her. That's Spider-Man. That's Black Spider-Man symbol and there are his eyes. Holy shit. I made this bowl with her when I was like four years old out of clay. Oh my god. She still has it. I'm out here in my living room again, which is right by where that chair moved uh, the other night. And uh, I don't know, there's just been like scary shit going on around that. What was that? Oh shit! Oh no. What the fuck? <sighs> okay, this shit is getting too fucked up to believe. Okay, uh, Leo, great grandpa, whatever. I got the key. Oh, shit. I got the keys. Um, I'm gonna try to find whatever they unlock. I feel like that's what you want me to do. Um, stop scaring the shit out of me. I'm gonna do this. Stop scaring the shit out of me. If you watched the last video, um, you know that I got the keys again. <laughs> they showed up again. Um,. I, I think I'm going to go and try to use them at that church uh, graveyard. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant because, you know, ever since I went there, what's that, babe? Ever since I went there, um, the activity in the house has really picked up. And um, I'm just kind of concerned about something like that getting even worse. Come in. Okay, I'll get you some food. I got I to gotta feed this child. She's telling me she's hungry in English and Spanish. Um, but, yeah, I'm probably going to go. Uh, not today. Not after last night, but... Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, couple developments. Uh, not really developments. Um, got the sage going, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Melissa thinks it's my birthday or something because of that. And we um, went to the animal shelter today and rescued Summer, the dog. Um, I don't know. Seems like a good idea to me. I know people have talked about animals being sensitive to this stuff. I've always liked dogs. Melissa is obviously very happy. Melissa, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Guinness. Who's that? It's Summer the dog. So, we'll see. Hopefully this stuff helps. Okay, just a little bit of an update. Um... I've gotten like 10 times as many followers as I had over the last few days, so that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for following. I'm glad you all find this interesting like I do. I am planning on going back to the church either today or tomorrow, um, if not another day pretty soon. Um, still kind of nervous about it, but you know, I just it's, it's going to drive me crazy until I do, so I am going to do that. Explorers. Yeah, I guess my grandma did a lot of gardening. There's a lot of these pots all over the place, and on this big platform thing, 
it's kind of caving in in some places, so I haven't like walked around on it. But a part of me is wondering if there's anything underneath it. Which makes me wonder if there's anything underneath the house or the shed or anything else. That's a hell of a tree. It's growing right through the fence. This is another part of the yard that I have not really documented much because it's so overgrown, but we're kind of exploring. Wow. Looks like there used to be something here. I don't know, that's like an altar? I don't know. Oh, there's summer.